Yo, what up, gamers? We are back for another episode of Kaisa to Diamond. We are once again two wins away from promos. So, I mean, ideally, I'd like to win two games. That's the goal here. But after that, I would like to win two more games to win my promos. Since this is, would be our second attempt if we managed to win these two games. And I'd like to not lose twice in a row. So we're going to be playing... Pike Kaisa into Senna Caitlyn. It's a decent matchup because whenever Pike lands a hook... <laughs> yeah, there was just no reason for him to be taking that hook though. Whenever Pike lands a hook... Oh. That happens. We're going to pop the Ghost here. Um... Okay. Got their exhaust, I guess. Alright, this seems good. Um... Okay, I got Triumph. Is he gonna flash for me? Fuck, I didn't time it right, though. Oh, my potion didn't go off. Shit, my bad. Oh, man, I would've lived. Oh, well. Just leave the wave. This is good. Wait, is it good? Wait, why isn't this good? Wait, what happened there? This wave should have been good. They were pushing into us. It's looking good there. I don't know, something happened. Oh well, kind of sucks. But yeah, I was trying to bait the kill and flash there. Unfortunately, I guess I underestimated her attack speed from Lethal Tempo since it was fully stacked. She got that lost auto attack off faster than I expected. I need to key that because I don't know if he's going to get that cut in any time. I can level E here in case he goes for the hook. Or I can, actually, I can just level W, this is fine as well. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, this is what happens in this matchup. Oh, God. Now I'm wishing I'd level D, because I didn't even use W here. We can try and burst the Drani down, though. Come on. Ugh. Oh. Okay, that sucks. Really wish I'd level D now. Oh, well. We'll get this. Okay, at least the wave crashed. What a messy game so far. Nice one. Okay, we see it's running mid. I'm assuming she took the Scudder Crab, right? Gonna try and snipe this melee with a W. Perfect. Okay, we just back off. That's a clear indication they want to trade. <laughs> she really wants to land that headshot. Actually, I should have saved my W for the cannon. Hopefully, it just stays alive, though. That'd be nice. We're getting zoned for a while here, and we're not even getting solo XP because their minions aren't even dying. Got a little bit of solo XP there, but not much. Well, actually, I'm still getting solo XP as so long as he stays there. Damn it. This could be good. Oh, here we go, here we go. Wow, oh, Kaelin. She could, wow, she really could have done more to try and save Senna there. Ooh. Nearly got her? Got her. We should be able to get Sidrani here too. She has no flash. She already used it. Don't even need to use Ghost. Ah, I could have had that. Oh, well. Oh, she took my entire wave, man. <laughs> what the fuck? We can do the Drake, though, actually. Let's do the Drake. It's more important than the plating. Uh, please do the... Drake? Oh, she wants to- oh, I guess this is fine as well, if it works, but there's a, this is not guaranteed, whereas the Drake is guaranteed, you know? Okay, this is pretty guaranteed, actually. Nice one. I don't even get the kill, so... I mean, we can still do the Drake, though, right?
I'll stick around until my fifth shot, then I'm recalling. There we go. I'm just gonna get Berserkers. There is a range differential in this matchup, making Berserkers pretty decent, although... Uh, Nunker also would have been fine since we have Pike to close the gap anyway, but he doesn't have too long lockdown, so I would say move speed is still pretty good. To make sure we can keep up with them once. Uh, we got the engage off. Wait, I'm so fucking far behind in CS actually. It's kind of crazy how not ahead I am when I'm 3, 2, and 4 against 1, 3, and 1. She's literally 20 CS ahead of me, and most of that was just text, not even just missed. So I'll just let them push into me if possible. Oh man. Okay, we stick around until the fifth shot, then we disengage. Because this fifth shot is like Jin's version of fourth shot. You always out trade so long as you get that. But then after that, there's no point in continuing to trade and you can just back off since you no longer have the advantage of the fifth shot. <laughs> oh, okay. It's the one that trade though with auto Q. So if I were Kaelin here, I would just ult me right now. She should ult me just to try and get a bigger HP advantage, meaning if we ever get into a fight, it's less likely that we can actually kill her. Okay, I'm gonna start shoving because I have no way of knowing if they based or not. I should assume that they're basing. Pike is relatively useful under threat anyway. He can just fish them out. But only when they don't have minion cover though. <coughs> Okay, this is inevitably, inevitably going to push towards us now. So if they were to base right now, we could also just base and leave the wave frozen. That would be favorable towards us. I don't think there's much point in him trying to engage here. How do I keep missing these? Oh, are we getting properly ganked? Maybe. Well, really good trade there. I got the fifth shot again. Gonna auto attack for life steal. I got 10 HP basically per auto. Very useful to just spam auto attacks here. 10 autos and I regain 100 HP. It's a pretty big deal. Can't really leave this frozen. It's just too close to the turret. So we're gonna have to shove this wave. There we go. Lydia's Herald. Hopefully she doesn't place it while I'm gone. I'll just do a double long start here. Oh wait. Oh no, wait, this is dumb. I should have done one long start. No, I should have done quick cloak then. Whoops. <laughs> I forgot I forgot that I have a call. Oh well, I can just sell one long sword later for pickaxe if necessary. Although ideally, at this point, I'd rather just base on 2100 gold, but that's unlikely. Nice. Okay, they are currently roaming at a really bad time. They left the wave frozen. Words I like in my favor. They need to be aware of the fact that I am not leaving this lane though. So they're fighting at a disadvantage if they fight there. I'm gonna drag it out. 
But make it join up with their wave. My wave will die so much faster. Oh, the crap. They have vision there. <laughs> there we go. Damn it. Shouldn't have missed that one, but I will. Wait, why is Lily attacking? Well, I guess we'll go do Herald. Or not do it, but. Shove and get the platings. Nice one. There's a rumble around as well. I'm gonna put some distance between us by going on Senna. I've still got Ghost. Come on. Come on, stop aggroing me! Is there a. Oh, goddammit, there's no minions. I need to walk here. That's fine, I live. God, they just don't leave. They just don't lose vision of me, man. <laughs> Holy crap! Here we go. Uh, I would die to a Kaelin ult. Crap! I shouldn't be touching this wave. We see Kaelin though. She doesn't have the range to. Like we will see Kaelin when she walks up here, right? And she doesn't have the range to ult me from there. Either way, I probably recover enough HP now that I'm fine. Maybe. Oh crap! Okay, now I don't have it again. <laughs> I was not paying attention to that. Get me out. Nice one. <laughs> nice rested, Ronnie. Alright, what do you know? I actually did end up basing with enough for Kraken Slayer. How convenient is that? I'll be back for more. By the way, I figured out why I'm somehow, like, really inconsistent with my evolves. With my evolve animation cancels. I don't know why, but apparently, like, if you... If you hover the... Mouse cursor over the, like, uh, evolve thing... Really fast, and then immediately click it and do B... It, it just doesn't register the evolve click, and that's why it just cancels and just does the recall only. Whereas if you hover... If you hover the mouse over this for, like, a second... And then do the... Recall and evolve cancel, uh, or sorry, the evolve cancel and then the recall. It's like impossible to even fuck it up, like any timing works. So, the only thing is that I've got to hover my mouse over it for a second. I don't know why it doesn't work if you do it just really fast, but it just doesn't register that your mouse is over here and that you're clicking this for some reason. It's actually really easy now that I've realized that was that's what was going wrong there. I don't know, maybe I'm misclicking or something. But I don't think so. Legendary. Holy crap, this game is a stomp. isn't there. <laughs> yeah, we cast off the coal. Got it. Fuck, I can't reach her for an auto. Sorry, Pike. 
Um, could I best now? Well, I don't have Navori. No, actually, I do have Navori. I just need to weigh like 15 gold or something when I, once I sell my coal. And gold. I survive rampage. I refuse to accept it. I refuse to accept it. Let's go do the Drake again. Actually, I'll just do the Scuttle Crab and the Blue Buff. Then do the Drake. The Drake is free whenever. We just have so much of a lead they can't contest it at all. I would rather just get uh, what they can actually get. Because it's on their side of the map. Wolves are also up. Oh, God, she's just going straight for me. I'm gonna have to pop a ghost here. <laughs> the fuck? <sighs> okay, this puts enough distance between us. Holy fuck, she really wants my ass, man. Fuck. Hang on. There we go. Easy. Yeah, fucking hell, she must have had vision on the wolves. She just ran straight towards me, no hesitation. Thought she was tipping to the fight. Alright, let's get a strike now. She needed to just throw her ease sooner as well. Like, I get what she was going for. She wanted to, like, just try and chase me down while I'm wasting my time juking. But I'd ghost up and I had a lot of time to, like, run towards my teammates. She couldn't afford to wait fucking 30 seconds just to try and get... Just so that the one time she throws E, she has the maximum chance of hitting it. She just needs to fucking throw it before I actually get into a good spot. She wasted far too much time there when I was actually vulnerable. Oh, okay, GG. <laughs> Don't get to see the next exploding. Alright gamers, we are back for another Kaisa game. This time we're going to be playing Kaisa Morgana into Zaya Twitch. Just going to sit around in this brush, try and get some free damage onto them as they enter lane here. Kind of an annoying matchup because against Twitch we'd like some more poke. Like, oh, sorry, not poke, engage. Engage is really good into Twitch, whereas Morgana Q, it's it's solid, but not the, she's not the scariest engage champion. Ow. Damn it. I need to disengage here because Twitch has Ignite and we don't have heal. Why does she auto that? Twitch might have stealth, right? So I need Mar I need Morgana to stand with me. Like, not a. <sighs> the solution there is for Morgana to stand with me, not for both of us to run away because we beat him 2v1. Well, she doesn't have to be afraid. Okay, that sucks. Literally, you just pressed him down so hard, all he has is Q. <sighs> well... Okay, he's dead here. Come on. There we go. Being only level 1 is kind of awkward here. Okay, I got the level 2. I should have just continued focusing Gragas, actually. Because she just walks away. Oh god, he still got that flash. Never mind, my bad. Fuck, that blows. Okay. Can she freeze? She needs to freeze, 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 freeze! Oh, come on, this is diamond, bro. Even if we're not diamond yet. These should be diamond players, I believe. She should know to just drag that wave out. Okay, 
Okay, I can't check everybody's ranks because the OBG isn't really working, but... Okay, this game is off the terrible start. It's a shame we had to get ganked by Gragas there at the same time as J4 was going for that gank. Because I wasn't even in lane yet, and Gragas was already, like, preparing to gank me, I guess. There was otherwise no reason for him to show up there since only Morgana was in lane. And I don't think they'd seen J4. Okay, that's a dead Yasuo at least. Should have focused melee actually with my W. Yeah, I could do with basing here. I could, I've already got a longsword anyway. Either I base or I just stick around to try and cheese Twitch. But I think Morgana can just get away just fine there. I think the uh, level 2, I should have leveled my E instead of my W, just so I could chase further. Uh, the big problem were, there was that I had no way to like chase people down who were killable until they had cooldowns that could turn on me again. And my W wasn't... like it, it could do a lot of burst, but not enough burst to actually kill anyone. What I needed to do was actually just stay in range with my E so I could finish people off. Actually, I need to back off. I have no idea where Twitch is. Yeah, exactly. Ah, it's annoying playing against Twitch when you fall behind. This is the worst thing about this matchup as well, is that, like, he's not a strong early game champ, right? At least not in the first levels. He should be vulnerable to engage, but we don't have an engage support in this matchup. I have to back off again. He's either going mid or he's just cheesing me again. And I th Oh, he's actually mid, okay. And Morgana just didn't acknowledge that he could, collab he could collapse on her. Okay, big shutdown for, ooh, Zillion of all people. Not sure there was anybody better to pick up the kill there anyway, though. Don't know if it's better on Zillion or on J4. God, she has a massive XP lead over me. I only just hit 5, she only just hit 6. I'm just gonna rush bot lane, so at some point I'm gonna need to back off here. Oh, wait, is there somebody else coming for me there? This is fucked, because even if even if Morgana shows up here, uh, 2v2, we still lose. Okay, Twitch is mid. I can't believe he wouldn't just go bot in this wave state. He could infinitely zone me from farm here because the wave is pushing away from me. I'd say just go for it. Well, I have to back off here. Oh, Casamato. Wow. Why would she not just ult there? The fuck. She could have avoided so much damage. Ow. I can try and snipe her with a W. Oh, no. She's healthy again. Mm, I'm really far away. Okay, we see Twitch. Top. It's so annoying. Like we have to play it. We have to play as if he's bot, and then it turns out he's on the way on, all the way on the opposite side of the map. He's like exerting pressure on two lanes at once, forcing bot to play safe, and then ganking mid and winning that lane. We'll freeze this. I'll just drag this out. No, oh, stop! I'm trying to freeze it! Oh my god. It's so tilting. Stop. She just ruined the freeze. It would have still worked if she would have just dropped the aggro and let the minions chase after me so I could join it up with this wave instead. Now it's pushing towards them. Enemy 
She must be out of field, surely. I hope so. <laughs> She's just not a support main playing like this. Yeah, we could have denied a lot of farm from Zaya if I actually had my freeze. Which is dead currently. I came back for the other I'm really far behind in gold compared to Saya, holy shit. But I have an HP lead currently, so I'm gonna try and take advantage of that. Oh. That's fine. She's dead. I gotta run now though, because I don't know where Twitch is. Oh, actually. Okay, let's hope Morgana can protect me. She shouldn't be using Q though, like, part, like the part of the protection is that she can just Q Twitch if she shows up, man. <laughs> yeah, she's not protecting shit. But can we at least kill him? We're gonna. She has Ignite. There's fucking minions protecting Twitch here as well. Is he dead at least? Yeah, okay, thank god. Ah, oh, but I hate this Morgana, man. Oh, oh, and she dies as well. It's fucking tragic. I didn't want to shove. She comes and lane forces me to shove. I'm like, oh, okay, you know what? Morgana can protect me. She goes all the way to fucking clear rope board or something. I don't fucking know. It's so tilting. Damn, I missed out on all of that. Just trying to bet out her E there, because... The oh, God. I'm probably dead here. Oh, that's an 80 support twitch. What the fuck? Weird. Alright, my bad. I didn't acknowledge that possibility. I was distracted. Yeah, as you saw from that one we won, Ghost is really good on Zaya when you're playing the Kaisa matchup. Or, uh, sorry, on Kaisa when you're playing the Zaya matchup. Because it makes it super easy to just maneuver around Zaya's feathers, not let her get a good angle. The faster you move, the more you can outplay the Zaya feather, so she never has a good E. If Twitch shows up, I might be able to 1v1 him. Currently got ult. I would need a isolated Q and a W on him though. So I need to stand pretty far away from the minions, ideally. Okay, we see Twitch mid. Shouldn't have used that W actually, I might need it to 1v1 her. That's fine, we don't need to greet for the fifth shot. Although she's gonna make it that easy. I don't know if she currently has ult. Let's hope she doesn't. Oh, she does. Ah, in that, in that case I lose. I was hoping I would have ult, uh, have ult that she wouldn't. Actually, I did just, I did die earlier to, to the Twitch gank and she didn't use ult there, did she? Should have been obvious it was up actually, my bad. I was thinking it was more recently that I 1v1 her and she used ult. Okay, no assist for me, sadly. They 
have no idea. It's probably going to be on the scrum. I can't 1v1 Twitch without ult, by the way. Probably. I want to freeze this, so I'm glad to tank this. Like, I don't want it to go under turret and just die faster. Oh, shit. If Twitch shows up, I'm dead, though. It is what it is. But I can't not farm, I don't think. But again, to give us the most chances, we'll stand as far away from the minions as we can, so we get isolation. Okay, at this point, it's like fairly certain that Twitch would come to me, so I just need to back off. This is how we play the game when our support doesn't protect us and Twitch has lead. Okay, we see him. We can walk forwards again. Yeah, I'm probably never going to be able to kill the Scion, but at the very least, he hopefully won't be able to kill me either. I don't know where Twitch is again. Okay, he's mid. Okay, my cutdown is doing 9 extra damage per auto onto Scion. Not bad. Fucking hell, I literally do 0 damage. I literally don't even do damage to minions. I can't loss at them properly. I return stronger than I left. Let's see if we can maybe do something to Twitch here. Maybe not then. Fuck, I have to path all the way around now. Actually, we can still try and get him. Oh, he's gonna die. Maybe I kill him here. He has no ult. Here we go. Where did he go? Is it here? Fuck, that sucks. Ah, why did he have to have... Flash up. And Mino Pink or anything to tell where he actually flashed. Because I... Naturally, the, usually the best thing to do there would be to flash off to him before he can get out of my range. But the thing is, I don't know whether he flashed, like, down here, whether he flashed over this wall. I can't just blindly flash and suddenly find that he flashed in the other direction and now he's gone, right? Just sucks. Like, if I'm going to waste any summoner, I may as well be Ghost. Ghost is uh, at least a much lower cooldown. Right, as soon as I cash out this call, I should have Kraken Slayer. I don't know why he's not just collecting top lane farm. He wants to come hit the share farm with me instead of farming top. Like, what? So I'll have to go top. Ah, I miss some farm here as well. It's a very tilting game. Okay, next wave is, I've got it. I'll even have a long sword, I think, for my Q evolve. I'll just keep pushing top, I guess. I probably don't- I definitely don't get this turret, it's too healthy and I don't have enough AD right now. Oh. The fuck, there's a fight going on mid lane and Yasuo chooses to come mid. Or come top- ah, fuck me. All I can do is waste time then. Or maybe even live, maybe. If we're lucky. Ow. 
Well, that sucks that he could reach me there. Probably should have worded it here instead, actually, so I could have vision. Nice one. Ooh, he didn't... What was the point of flashing there? I don't need to flash there. He's going to be doing golems, but nothing I can do about that. Guy is such a thinky build, by the way, this is also. Yes, let's go. I got the shutdown. Wait, we have a top lane Nidalee, got them. I only just noticed. Hmm. Probably don't beat Twitch if he has ult. I need to get we'll see. Yeah, okay, he's got ult. <laughs> Worth a shot. At least we got the ultimate for that. I think I would have actually beat him if I had ult, though, sadly. I still have a lot of gold spend now. Go ahead and sell the coal for a Caulfield Summer. I don't know, by the way, if I lose this game, uh, I might be one win away from promo still, or I might not be, I'm not sure. What my LP gains are like ever since the change. I don't really pay much attention to my LP gains. Or losses. Wasn't gonna, ever going to be much we could do about that. We have too much map control. Whoa, I got trapped right into the fucking pit with Yasuo. Jesus. What was the point of that ultimate? Just, like, now I don't have ult. Because I have to get out of there. That's so annoying. Twitch could be anywhere. He's gonna have ult again. I can't fight here. I straight up can't. Twitch is probably waiting for me to walk up from out of the turret. Ow. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, I guarantee you Twitch was like hovering around hovering around in south here. Saw me here. And he was like, yep, yeah, gonna wait for Kaisa, gonna wait for Kaisa, not gonna join this fight until Kaisa shows up. Until she leaves the turret. Cause I mean that's what I would do as a Twitch player. And if you just never show up, you zone Kaisa from the fight. Win win. Okay, Twitch no ult. Huge. Let me have it, let me have it. Ah, oh, J4Y. <laughs> if, if we were to ever have a win condition in this game, I would be it. Who's gonna carry this game? J4? I don't think so. Yeah, Zillion is annoyed with him for the same reason. Even Zillion knows I should have the kill. 
Oh, he's even calling it griefing taking the kill. Okay. Nice skill force. Can we maybe get Scion by any chance? Probably not, but we can try. Oh, no. Yeah, there's a Yasuo there. Which is a love gun. Oh, God. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't go for it. We, we need to be in our base. Man, she's gonna ult. Like, I can't safely go in there. Especially with Twitch alive. I don't know where exactly he is. I assume he's not around yet, but I don't want to be actively going into the direction where he's coming from. Fighting under turrets is a smart idea. God damn it, they have minions here. Uh, Yasuo or Twitch could be coming here. Fuck, I missed my W. What is wrong with me? Ow. Okay, nice. Oh no. Fuck, I'm so close to having Navori too. Okay, not bad. Get me up. I got it. No, no, no. Ah, fuck me, he's got ult. My bad. <laughs> GG. We tried our best. Shame about the early game, we fucked up the laning phase way too hard. Once Twitch got that kind of lead, it was just unplayable. He can zone us from farm on bot lane while, while he's ganking top lane, you know, it's just fucking crazy. If you fall behind against Twitch, the game is unplayable. Yo, what up gamers, we are back for another game of Kai'Sa. Unfortunately, two wins away from promos now. Gotta stay away from these brushes instead of cheesing this time since... Uh, we have a decent matchup here, I would say, but only if we don't get into like melee range of Rom, so... No cheesing here, because the last thing we want to do is risk walking to melee range of Braum. We're running cleanse this game, since we're facing Omumu, so for late game teamfights, or mid game teamfights, any kind of teamfight where Omumu is involved. As, low, as a low range ADC, we want to run the cleanse to counteract the ultimate, so we don't have to play ultra safe. Huh? What the fuck? Why? Why is she trolling? I'm so confused. I come out of nowhere. I need to focus the cannon here. Camera's going for that Costa. Okay. I'm pretty sure Braum has done more damage to Karma than Karma has to Braum. Which is pretty backwards for how this matchup is supposed to go. Oh. And she's dead there. Wanna get level 3 here if possible. Nice one. What? Karma. Could be good. Never Damn it. Oh, I was just barely off. Damn it. Um, We could leave this, leave this, leave this. 
There will, unfortunately, we've done a bit more damage than necessary to his minions, but they do outnumber our minions, so hopefully I should still push towards us. Um, we'll get double longsword here since I can't really afford cold plus longsword. Obviously, if we'd stayed here, we would be able to get cold plus longsword, but it's not that big a difference. It's not, not worth uh, sacrificing a good wave state for. When we arrive, arrive into lane here, we should have missed minimal farm. Less than Lucian. At least as best as as much as possible, considering he had a better recall. Although he left the wave in a pretty bad state, so... Yeah, no, it's about even at worst. This could be good. Come on, there we go. Nice one. Good damage. Had my potion on the wrong slot. Good thing I didn't need that. Actually, we don't even need to crash this. We can just... Slow push. Deny farm from Lucian. Oops, thought it would go for that. Got him. Need to stay away from the bushes, not get burst down by Lucian here. Oh. Ah, I'm so fucked. Why is there a Yasuo here as well? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Fuck, that sucks. Oh man, it would have been nice to get Berserkers here, but I can't afford them. We'll get... Next best thing, tier 1 boots. Kiting Braum is pretty useful in this matchup. Oh, did he miss the ultimate? Is that... Oh yeah, that could have been a lot better if he didn't miss that. Oh no. He could have killed Braum as well, that could have been so good for us. I would have died to Lucian or Yasuo still later, but at least it would have been worth it. Yeah, this is a really good way to stay. Leave this, leave this! Leave this! What the fuck, man? Go mid for your farm. Why, man? <laughs> Yeah, we can trim it. But we don't even need to, though. Uh, what I can do is just drag it out as well. Let's place a trinket here. There we go. See, this is fine. This is the advantage of not trimming it and instead of just dragging it out, is that then this wave is still big and it kills this wave a lot faster as well. This karma is about to die, isn't she? Okay, nice. Not bad. Holy fuck. <laughs> Why is she dead there? <laughs> Man. Ah, oh, fuck, I got hit. I'm dead. No. Fuck. I thought the minions would protect me from the Q. Let me see how close that was. Because of the level 6, I wanted to try and take advantage of that. To hopefully get a kill. And I can't see right now, I need to walk into lane. I, hope, I wish Karma the best, but I'm gonna focus on this. Yeah, look at that, look at that. 
Sucks. Okay, nice one, Karma. And she gets the double. Awesome. It's such a shame, though, because that was two shutdowns, right? Yep. None of which go to me. Oh, well. I got the Philly shove out of way of her, at least. We could do Drake. Momuzan Herald, we want to do Drake. <clears throat> Your blue buff can wait. Man. Okay, at least they got him, right? Yep, perfect. If we got the kill on the Drake, then that's perfect. Lee doesn't currently have smite anyway. But I'm taking so much fucking damage for this man. Like I, blow, I, I won't be able to win a two v two until I've, until my next recall, because of all this HP I lost. Okay, this could be good. Come on, Lee. Okay, they released a got safe passage to my mini wave, but I've already lost most of it. Yeah. Good for them that they got the also but it's, it's not good for me. But hopefully, it's good for the team overall. Could be very good though. Lucian is just rolling here. Nice one, huge. This time I actually do get a kill. What the fuck was that, bro? Have to be sacrificed? Yeah, like it, it's, it just made zero sense. Like, sure, they were gonna kill Karma there, but what is the point if it's not worth it? If you're all gonna die after. Ah, I should have gone for this plating. Ah, nice, no, too late now though. <laughs> Way too late now. I don't want to shove that kind of wave. That's the thing. I just hope the plating lives. It might not, but it is what it is. I think I'll sell this for Berserkers. Okay, nice. The plating lives. So hopefully at some point we'll be able to get that before platings fall. It's just one hit away. We don't have power on this lane still, I don't think. So it might be hard, but at some point hopefully we get a chance. And we should have had Prowl, but we're still probably behind, I imagine. We lost Prowl ever since we lost the laning phase early on. Uh, Braum might be angling for a dive here. I need to assume that he is. I don't have wards. Okay. I guess they're not. Especially with Lucian dashing in there, that really looked to me like they were prepping for a dive. Wait, what? Damn it, yep. I shouldn't have tried to fight it, my bad. Damn it, I thought I was gonna play the Braum ult there, but it just instantly cancelled my ult. My bad. I should have just flashed the ultimate. That was a little more consistent. Is it frozen? Yeah, if I instead just flash here, I guess, is fine. It's kind of fucked, though, because I... Like, the only way I really win that is if Lucian dies, but like, even if I start focusing Lucian there, he's just never going to die because he's not getting focus from the turret. Rom is... Oh, leave this to me? Perfect, perfect. Just leave it to me, leave it to me. Let's fucking go. She's only half trolling. I don't know why she flashed early on. It was so random. She mostly plays serious. <coughs> well, this matchup, I guess, is like... I guess even-ish. I also kill Lucian, Brahma skills Karma. So it's not too bad that we've fallen behind. And especially because we're not even that behind. GG. 
Jesus. Oh, no, no. No, why did I cleanse? I'm griefing. Okay, I live. Holy shit. I wanted the ghost there. So used to running ghost. I'm nearly good old, but it's not gonna do much to help me survive if Brom thanks to the turret. So we're gonna have to base. I'll just get a pickaxe, which will give me kill evolve. Once I level up. Which we're pretty close to, so. So they might be in this brush, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna wait as long as possible before using W to let them know that I might know that they're there. They're not there though. Just gonna chill here for a little while. I can't freeze here indefinitely, and we don't have the conditions for that anyway, but I don't wanna push this too far yet anyway, either. Boom, so free. Just as long as I wait, this is just so long as I hover it for like a second or half a second before clicking it. It's so weird. I can't believe that's what was making the evolves fail so much. Like, can we just keep on pushing here? I never did end up getting that plating, sad. That was 175 gold missed out on. Literally modified Kraken Slurf now for that. Oh my lord, what's going on there? Should I, de should I base to defend? I mean, I don't think I should, but Lee definitely needs to help her, otherwise they're gonna get that. Oh, this is so fucked. Either me or Lee he needs to base and defend, I think. Oh, actually, no, okay, the wave is dead. Karma actually did a really good job of defending by herself. <laughs> Fucking hell, okay, I need to run. Is this the same Yasuo as before? It might be. I have to hope they're not running into me, because this Yasuo is actually forcing me to run into where they would be collapsing, if they were smart enough to collapse. I need to try and join this fight as well. Just go in. Doesn't matter that Greg sees him back. Nice one. No, oh, damn it. There's also not a wind wall. Nice one. Oh, why did he run into the turret? I guess he got pulled there. Nice one. Ow. Wait, there's another Gragas as well, what the fuck? Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> I don't have mana for Q, otherwise I could've killed him there. Oh, my bad. If he has ult, I'm dead. I'm dead. Whoops, my bad. Wasn't paying attention to him. Okay, I'm in a really good spot now, though. I love this. So much good there. Now we get the Drake too, hopefully. Holy shit, wait, he's so slow there, what the fuck? He's probably gonna be dead here. Karma should be trying to help him, I think. Yeah, I mean... He literally could've prevented Gragas from getting 300 gold there. That was pretty unnecessary. Nah, it's a different Yasuo. Different Gragas too. Could go top, yeah. Pike is out of there as well, but we might just be able to get a pick on somebody if they go here. Okay, I'm not gonna wait her forever. I do want to get mid farm. If we're not gonna get a call top. Ah! 
Did I get this red? Fair enough. Worth a shot. What's going on, bot lane? <sighs> the only person we can try and punish is Gragas, who is just extremely slippery. Ooh. Nice one. Huge. Thanking it. Perfect. Oh, I didn't get the call though. How big was that shutdown? Eh, only 150. Big shame though, because that split that assist was split between a lot of people as well, so I don't imagine I got a lot of gold from that. Yeah, maybe we can do burn here. That'd be nice. Oh god, I wasn't looking. The fuck? What is Brom doing here? <laughs> nice ignite. Now let's try it. I wish they would extend the range of your Q activation, by the way, whenever you have lethal tempo active. It's so awkward being a max auto attack range and not being able to Q because you actually need to walk closer because of the lethal tempo. Oh boy. Finish this fast. There we go. Do we need flash out here? We might. <gasps> Jesus. Get him, get him. Get him. No, you're kidding me. That's so fucking sad, bro. I'm getting out of here. Shut down. Exploit them there we go. Work up in 50. We'd like to get that if possible. I want to push mid, but... Oh boy. I don't have cleanse this time. Focus the Yasuo. Nice one. Yeah, fuck. Okay. Wait, Penta? Quadra? Okay, not gonna be a Penta, sadly, but good, good, good. I like this. That was huge. That just gave me a massive lead. I was only doing okay before that. Only doing decent. Go Soul. Yeah, let's get the streak. It's not gonna be Soul, but Soul Point. We got it. Yep. Jogath has ultimate, so he should be able to secure this pretty easily. Nice one. I survived the void. I refuse to let go. I refuse to accept it. I'm out of here. Fuck, I wish I had enough for a Vamp Scepter. Don't want to get Crick Cloak when I can get Vamp Scepter. Because I probably do want to go Bloodthirster here instead of Lord Dominix, but we'll see. I could also go Lost Whisper from here if I need to. But I feel like survivability will be better than damage. Ah, oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. I was so fucking close. 
If I get a Tron for two. No, it didn't kill. Okay. Fuck, this is such a bad spot to fight in, actually. <laughs> Did what I could. Fuck, just one good pike ult was all it took to win that fight. Yeah, I'm gonna go Vamp Scepter. Do it with safety. At least we had Cho'Gath pushing the whole time. It's the only reason the fight wasn't a stomp, I think. Although, I get then again, Lucian was here. Was he there the whole time? Why is he even low then? I think he must have been fighting at one point. No, he was- he stopped. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Still, I guess Cho'Gath is more useful for us than Lucian is for them. He's a big part of our frontline and it, I mean, the big problem for me, there was no frontline, right? Couldn't fucking hit anybody without an Mumu Q or a Gragasy being in my way. Which is also why we want survivability. So we can actually put out damage even if we're under threat. I assume they've got all that. Oh, Lucian took a red buff, didn't he? Yep. Wake up in 2.30. Can get another wave here, then Scuttle Crab. Careful, you guys don't want to be fighting there. We're gonna use only each of waves, I think. So we don't have to spend too much mana. Well, that blows. I'm not psychic, I can predict that they're gonna fight there. But if I had been there, I could have turned that around easily. Wait, I can fucking see that ward, that's so annoying. There we go. I use my W to reveal, to reveal the ward. Ah, didn't get the cannon. Sucks. What about their red? Monsters are epic. That's up. Nice one. Should be able to get these raptors too. On the bright side, my teammates' deaths there weren't really relevant. There was no Baron for the enemy team to pick up, there was no Drake for them to pick up, and they didn't push any turrets with that either. Basically, only a bunch of gold, which, you know, unideal, but... Oh, god. Jesus. I need to get out. Fuck, I didn't have to flash so early, though. Thing is, I don't have cleanse for Mumu. Ah, and I'm dead. My bad. <sighs> okay, at least I didn't get Yasuo ulted. Can't fight here. Cho'Gath uh, can't tangle himself to be a proper frontline for me. Ah, oh, fucking blows. My bad. Can I lifestyle here? Yeah, I'm healing from red buff anyway, it's all good. I just don't want to throw a W here because I don't want my red buff healing to disappear. If I get in, champ in combo with champions, I'm pretty sure it does disappear. Now I can throw it because now I'm full HP. Eh. Nah, let's still play it safe. We know Gragas doesn't have E, at least. Or... Kamumu doesn't have ult. Whatever, anything like that. Yeah, fuck. Fuck, I'm dead. Well, that was still a lot they managed to throw at me there. I just don't think I should have been fighting there, actually. Like, there's just no frontline again, you can see this. Like, we have Lee there, but there's nobody protecting me from Braum Q. Nothing protecting me from Gragasy, nothing protecting me from Mumumu Q. And then once they kill Lee, it's just really easy to turn on me, even if he also didn't connect that Q. Okay, they only got an inhib for now, though, which is decent. For us. Yeah, I think I'll commit the Bloodthirster here. Both Lord Dominic's and Bloodthirst would be huge, though. It's gonna be good once I manage to actually get both. Can we get the streak? Wait, did we just get an inhib to minions? Holy fuck, that's so lucky. We just matched the inhib they just took from winning a fight with an inhib that we didn't even work for. <laughs> okay, nice, huge. Uh, I think Amun was about to get it, sadly. 
Yeah. Hopefully we kill a Mumu though, and then we can do burn easily. Should be in there. Yep, nice one. I'll help lead get him. I don't want to use ult. <laughs> Fucking hell. Perfect. Alright, let's do burn now. Let me get that. <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, oh, actually, no, no, yeah, we can end, we can end. Right? And yeah. I mean, sure, there there is value in going for the safe call on Baron, but I think we can just stand. We'll ignore most of this. I don't even need to life still much. God, I hope we're not making the wrong call here. We actually only have one minion. Somebody should be tanking this. Oh, God, we're actually wasting time. Let's get this then. We should have gone for Baron. We've ended up just dying. No, don't fight, don't fight there. Especially not before this turret is done. I've actually lost so much HP just for minions as well in the turret. Stop. Fucking hell. What a freaking disaster. What are we doing? <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm, I agree with Karma. We should have gone Baron. I, I, I saw, I think, at least, like, two people with, like, 20 to 30 second death timers. So I thought all their death timers were pretty long, but then two people revived pretty early. Still, I don't know, like, if, although it was the wrong call to not go for Baron, this should never have happened. I don't know what the fuck people were smoking there. We didn't have, ever have to die there. We'll go for Longside, we're going for the Lost Whisper as soon as possible. I did feel like we had a bigger wave though, I don't know what happened to the wave. Because I looked at bot and thought, it's too late now to see, but I looked at bot and was like, oh yeah, we got a wave pushing into the base. Free. Maybe just went into the base too early and Lucian killed it, I'm not sure. Not way down. I could do with getting blue buff. Thing in the Navori, so hopefully he understands. Oh my god, oh no, that is so bad if he dies there. It was so close to being a good play though. Okay, flash for flash. That's actually really good. Not bad. He has no ult though, so we'd rather not fight until Pike has that. Holy fuck, there's a low cooldown. Just don't fight, don't fight. Yep, go for this. I'm gonna insta base for plus whisper as soon as I have it, I think. Actually, Pike is ult back up already. Mm, okay, they're all grouped. Don't wanna fight. Oh, Joe got flanking though. Fucking wind wall. Gotta be very careful here. Fuck me, I have no escape there. Uh, I don't think we should have been fighting. Problem is, these fights are so hard to navigate, especially as Kai because I'm so short ranged. They have Bromult for knockup for Yasuo, they have Drag Assault. Is there anything else? No, it's mainly just Bromult. Especially, Drag Assault is so terrible for me though, because I can't avoid that. I don't have any way of avoiding it except Flash. It's unplayable. I need to be very careful here and not die uselessly. Uh, the, what Karma's doing here is useful. Whatever Leah's doing here is not. They probably can't end without a wave, and hopefully she's got the entire wave there. Is this RW? No, but she's salty anyway. Okay, nice one. They just got an inhib. That's not bad. God, these fights are so fucking hard. I need a bigger front line. That's what I need. There's never... I feel like there's never actually people between me and the enemies. Every time I try and do damage to them, I'm just in so much danger. could do with farming for Lord Dominix. Like, if I'm gonna get one shot no matter what, at least hopefully I can do damage before I die, right? And I need Lord Dominix to start dealing damage. Uh, yeah, we'll ignore this wave, actually. We wanna do everything we can to get the streak. I 
it's, you see what I mean? Like, what do I do besides not fight to avoid that? I can't. Oh no, this is so close. Oh, he got him. He got them both. Nice. Uh, is Karma not there actually? Trying to use the shift. There we go. Oh, Karma was dead. When did she die? Okay. Maybe we shouldn't have done the Drake then if we were 4v5. I didn't notice that. Oh no. That sucks. I think they might end now. We'll see. This Drake is so tanky though. What? He's wasting so much of their time just taking them fucking decade to die. What? How much HP does he have? Seven? What? He's got 8,000 HP? The hell? Wait, how are we losing fights with this monster of a uh, beast on our team? Okay, they can get that Drake, it's not too important. Like, we don't- we would like to take it for our soul, but it's not, like, devastating if they get it. <sighs> okay, I guess we're gonna try and win this fight without Pike. Check out his back to full HP. Okay, they used- Yasuo, not on me. For once, finally. Oh god. I can't play these fights, man. <laughs> For once, they use Yasuo on somebody else, and I still get one shot the moment anybody CCs me. Oh no. Okay, was there anything I could do there? Kaisa will play it. What can I do, man? Let's see. Oh, oh, what? It only shows me 11 seconds. Okay, here we go. He's the one that got cute. He's the one that brought a Mumu to me. What? Well played, Kaisa. Well played. Kaisa gap. Yeah, no, it's just such a fucking hard game. To be playing as a short range ADC. And like, no matter where I stand to try and do damage, I'm always under threat of getting Grag assaulted, which means Yasuo ulted. It's just not playable. Oh well. Yo, what a gamers, we are back for another Kaisa game. Oh, what the hell? That was a late, late invade. <laughs> Wait, holy shit, we all pinged the vision there. Hello. How do they still have a retric there? I can this red buff stop focusing me. What? Oh no, 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 what are you doing? He got it, he got it. Let's pop ghost here. Oh. Oh no. Can I get any? Oh my lord. Huge. Oh, we popped the. We refreshed the ghost. I'm gonna go on Zaya. Any triumph. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna run away. Mm, I'm just gonna center lane. This wave is pushing towards them because Nunu got the red buff, which means he leveled up, which means we have the leveled advantage, which means our minions do more damage than their minions. <laughs> God, what a fiesta. Anyway, I was gonna say, this game I had to make the tough choice between Ghost and Cleanse against Danny. Cleanse and lane is really good. But uh, Cleanse would be useless for the entire rest of the game, pretty much. I don't have a fucking support. <laughs> I'm gonna have to recall here. I can't farm anyway. Yeah, uh, cleanse would be useless for the entire rest of the game, assuming I don't get any ulted in team fights, because Ghost is so much better against like the Darius on the Nocturne, and even against the Akshan. So we're just gonna go for Ghost this game and just accept that our lane phase will be worse than if we went cleanse. Okay, I'll fall behind the next P here, but at least I'm ahead in gold for what it's worth. I didn't even get an assist. Hey, Trucks, no, don't greed. He's got a kill advantage, so if he dies, he's fucking his lane hard, uh, his lane over really hard. Yep, he didn't even spend his gold on items. He's basically making this the mistake that I would have made if I chose to just stay in lane, farm there, and ended up dying to any. Completely throw away his lead. Could never be me.
Okay. Oh, of course, now she walks into me right as I use E. That's so annoying. When I was a child, I was <sighs> She's so lucky. Like, every other time, she didn't use her... Or she didn't walk into me, so I was gonna use E. I assume Nocturne got that. Oh, this is so fucked, I think. Yep. Get us up. That was terrible from Nuno. <laughs> Fair enough. He just immediately deafened. <laughs> Did not see our flame. Ah, oh, fuck. I almost got that. This is bad. Well, that blows. Uh, I'm gonna get dived here. Nuno's on the way, though. I just need to bait the Nocturne, if anything. Perfect. He's dead. Hopefully I get the kill. Huge. Thank you. So close. <laughs> okay, nice. Huge, huge, huge. What the fuck? Man. Don't hit it. Oh my god. Could have also run uh, Halo Blades in a matchup like this, by the way, since it's a uh, matchup where we don't have engage, so I don't really get to do extended trades. Well, I mean, I guess with Ghost I do, but most of the time we won't get extended trades. And it's just mostly going to be short trades where Halo Blades would, ex would excel. We also don't need Lethal Temple for killing their tanks, really, since they don't have tanks, besides sort of Darius. <laughs> okay, that's good enough. We don't need to bother with the lost minion. Let's go for Berserker so I can get into lane faster here. And I, if I could afford Noom Quiver, I might do Noom Quiver, but I can't, so I'll just do Berserkers instead. We know move speed is really good against Zaya anyway, so... Well, I could have at least got the XP from that minion. Shame she wouldn't let me have that. I don't want to trade against her while she's got the shield. Oh, hello, Nocturne. I don't want to go for that last hit. Either. I'm going to get fucking flashed on by Annie and then lose a ton of HP. Trade there, she still got the stun. We're gonna lose trades if we trade into the stun. I will make yeah, we don't want to trade here because. Well, we know Nocturne got level 6 off of one of these camps, and he just wants to gank us right now. We already know he's focusing bot anyway. Uh, yep, here he is. He's not level 6, though. Whoa, did I just level up there? What the fuck? Oh. Please get- Ah, oh, god damn it. Nobody died in time for my triumph. Oh, no. Dude, that was so annoying. Couldn't even see your HP, so I didn't- know whether I was about to get a heal or not. From Triumph. <sighs> this is awkward. Look at how close I was to leveling up as well. 
Fucking blows. She did level up mid fight, by the way, didn't she? Which is kind of annoying. Trying to bring up the replay, but it's not working. It's such a clumsy app. Or clunky app. I've been spamming it for like the past 20 seconds. It's just not coming up. Okay, whatever. At least the way stat is pretty good for us. Who got my shutdown? I think it was Zaya that flashed on me, wasn't it? I can fucking tell because somebody spammed the chat. Oh, Annie got me. Okay, perfect. Wasn't even a big shutdown anyway, so. Oh. Why do that? She just messed up all of this farm as well. Oh well. Mm, why she have HP here? She actually never based. At least she'll heal up. Can she stop hitting the wave? Like, what the fuck? She's. I don't want to push her. Just because you want the base doesn't mean I want to shove in base. Like, all she's making me do is forcing me to overextend here against the fucking roaming mid laner. At least we have Nunu backing us up so I can crash this now. Safely, relatively safely. Okay, I think I'll just base now. Or actually, we could cheese her. Just, no, sit in the brush. What? <laughs> Man. Okay, maybe she, maybe Zai just assumes send is on her own, which she does. Okay, nice. Got it. Nice one. Okay. This Santa is like fucking, uh, oh, okay, nice one. The analogy I was gonna use was like, Santa is an overleveled Pokemon who got traded to you by a friend, but you don't have the right gym badge, so it just won't listen to you. GG. Yo, what up, gamers? We are back for another game of Kai'Sa. This time we're playing Kai'Sa Blitzcrank into Zara Rakana. There's a whole lot of fucking Zayas today, isn't there? Holy shit. I feel like every game has been against Zaya except that one against Lucian. Oh, okay, apparently we did face kill in one game. Still, two Zayas is too much. Anyway, I would say this matchup is pretty favorite to us. Blitzcrank is a much better early game than Burkhan. I wish he'd gone for the hook there. I feel like that wasn't a hard hit. Okay, I won't bother cleansing the exhaust here, even though it's pretty much the only use I have for cleansing lane besides cleansing ignite. Actually, I should let this push back towards us. Okay, we see a Mumu mid lane. Start a bot side, so after mid lane, you should just go top side, so we're actually pretty safe. But we do have also Vi on bot side ourselves, so we want this to start slowly pushing towards us. Wait, walls are clear. Wait, what? Oh, she's pathing top side. Oh, never mind. Wait, what the fuck? She went red into blue into full clear towards top side. What? <laughs> that is so weird. What is the point of slow slowing down her full clear like that? Okay, this could be good. Oh. There we go. Nice one. Just make it a short trade. Don't want to overextend or uh, overforce this too hard when we've used all the cooldowns. Because then Zaya could do some work. We only want to drag out the trades if we're using all of our cooldowns on Zaya. Otherwise, we just use all of our cooldowns, then back off. That's how we ensure that we're not getting fucked over by wasting our cooldowns on the support. Nice, I slid a Q on him. 
Just place a ward here, although I'm pretty sure that's the Mumu that I'm seeing there. No, okay, that's just no Kench. I do see a Mumu there now, though. Still, you never know when we might get ganked by Echo or something. Sitting on two trinkets, so I might as well get that on cooldown. Uh, come? What the fuck? Yeah, not gonna be a kill, but okay, again, we disengage her. Oh, I have two points in Q-backs, and whoops. Can really sidestep that since I was against the wall. What? I swear to God, I should have hit. I was so sure that was gonna hit. Cut them. Do I just want to base here? Oh, it's not a cannon wave, so maybe not. Oh God, no! Why am I actually getting ganked by the mid laner right at this moment? Right as I just cancel my base. Mm, I think I'm gonna live at least. Ow. Yeah, I just waste a ton of my own time. And probably miss out on some farm. <laughs> okay, I only missed out on one melee. I don't think Bliss should have based though. Because we could have just been pressuring Zaya to be one. Mm. Also, don't have the HP to go in here. Mm, he's fucking dead. Oh, okay, at least he has flash up. We can find the way, but I don't know if we can actually gank or kill these guys. Suppose we can try. Oh, this could be good. Yep, okay, that's cool. Perfect. We can maybe even get Zaya here. Mm, okay, we just do some damage to her, which is also nice. It'll look nice on my damage graph at the end of the game. Okay, perfect. It's not a kind of wave, which is exactly what we want. We just want to crash this. Just crash it. Okay, I did not expect him to land the hook. Wow, why, why is she afraid? I don't have any mana or cooldowns. <sighs> is he already here? Like, he really should have just... <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I could have planned that actually, my bad. Yeah, we really should have just focused that wave. Because, like, he landed it. On her, and he got her flash, which is nice, but she didn't even need to flash. She was perfectly fine there. There was not a world where we could ever kill her there. What a waste of a play compared to just crashing that in and making sure we couldn't get ganked. And we had a healthy wave state. Oh, that blows. Okay, at least the wave state is pretty good now. If they don't crash us too fast, so I didn't have too much mana. Uh, she probably does crash this in time, though. Maybe I can just at least, uh... Freeze this. Yep, I do. Drag it out, drag it out, drag it out. Please drag it out! Thank you. Okay, we'll pop another potion here. Perfect, this is how we create a freeze. Perfect. There we go. You, you can stop thanking now. Nice one. Yeah, and he should absolutely just, like, go roam, basically. There's no point in him being in the lane here, soaking up all my XP. But he's not gonna do it. <laughs> and I don't want to boss him around. I'm gonna thin this out a little bit. But this is how we punish Zyle for being so low there. Because she's so low that she can't contest this freeze, so she just has to suffer through the freeze. And she just lost an entire wave from that, whereas we couldn't have crashed that in time to make her miss. But, uh, we don't want to fight here, what are you doing? Well, he's dead. We'll do some damage, but that's all I can do. That's fucking random. Why did he have to die there? He didn't. Weird.
Thank God. May I remind you that we have a stronger early game? Although it may not appear that way. Oh God, wait. No! What am I doing? I'm trolling. I'll do as much damage as I can. Ah, my kid didn't go off. Fuck, I didn't mean to flash there. I meant to ult, I just fat-fingered my flash. Cleanse was also troll because he hadn't actually art me yet, my bad. But also wasn't um, playing around the fact that they could dive me properly. I reacted too late to the fact that they could dive. I don't know if it's because Rakan hit 6 like at the very end or what. Oh yeah, he hit 6 right there, didn't he? And I just didn't notice, I think it was tabbed. Nah, I should have flashed. I should have flashed away like before the W landed. This is so awkward though, like, we should be doing a lot better in this lane. A lot of our deaths were just completely stupid for no reason. It also doesn't help that in the early game, every one of our hooks was onto our con. Whereas, uh, like, okay, some of the trades were decent. I hope he's alone here, I'm gonna risk going for the pink. There we go. Yeah, some of the trades were decent in that we managed to deal a bunch of damage to Rakan without taking too much damage from Zaya, but it just kept happening over and over and over, and some of the trades weren't even worth because she would get to use her cooldowns on me, while my cooldowns always went on Rakan. Don't really care, honestly, whether that W lands on the caster to give me the last hit or if it hits Rakan. Either one would be good. So long as he has his passive shield down. Anyway, we definitely uh, don't have a stronger early game than them now. Or, I mean, we are not stronger than them at the moment. We're too behind. But yeah, running cleanse again this game because once again we're facing a Momo. Okay, nice. Oh. Yeah, we want to focus out here. Well, actually, we're kind of here. It's fine. Just finish him off first. Let me have the call. Bye! She really wanted that for herself. Oh, well. God, it was the 500 gold shot down, too. Oh, well. Um, okay, Echo will probably be on the way as well. I don't currently have cleanse, so... I can't reach him for autos, man. They really didn't want us to shove the wave. Mimblis actually probably could have cheesed here, but... It's fine. Like, yeah, I mean, you can see Rakan is roaming, right? Because it's so unlikely we'd stay here, right? Which is exactly why it would have been so smart to stay here. Like, Zaya walks into the lane, she gets hooked. Blitz has E, he has ult. We actually just one shot her there. Huge missed opportunity, but I don't have the communication with Blitzcrank to immediately communicate what I wanted to do there since he was recalling all the way back here. If I ping them, ping them to stay, he would have no fucking idea what I'm referring to. Hello. Do I want to ult in here? Hello. Ah, damn it. Should be able to beat Zaya. She has no ult, right? Okay, nice. Okay, nice one. She, she used flash just to still lose. I love it. I'm not sure she would have even won if she even if she did land the E on me. What a nice attempt. Alright, they got that. I'll try and shove this in. Swift that is not amazing for me. And also, if I get these lost hits, I have my mythic. That would be nice. Fuck. All these minions just get left on low HP. Whatever, I still got my mythic. Not a single one got executed by Miki like I expected. <coughs> Alright, nice.
monsters are coming. We'll be ready. I'll make sure of it. Hello, Overcon. So we might want to dive here. So she's doing the golems right now. What the fuck was that? I wonder if she clicked the map. Oh, hello. You got him. CC Chenum? Perfect. Huge. Another treasure hunter proc. Can we get Annie here? Jesus. Oh, what the hell just killed that cannon? That's so annoying. I'll just go on the other side so she can't see me. There we go. Huge. Now I'm actually ahead, finally. Solidly. Indisputably. So can I do? Yeah, this is better. I came for the hunt. Oh, oh! Did she actually get a kill? Holy fuck! She was so close. She might still get one. Holy shit! She did. Nice. That's only because of her flash, which I was gonna mock her for. Just let me get the wave. I wanted to tax that. Um, we should kill Zaya, I think. Oh no, she's gonna leave. Yeah, I just, I just want to get the mid lane whip. Don't, don't stop. I would go bot except I can't get there in time to get the farm, so I was only gonna go bot to kill Zaya. A hook would be huge. Ah, okay. Yeah, especially when you're playing low range ADCs, uh, cleanse is going to be pretty mandatory for dealing with the Momo in teamfights. It's either that or you pay the QSS tax, and I'd much rather just run cleanse. If you're playing long range ADCs, it's a bit uh, safer to do, like to just do away without cleanse or QSS, because you're a lot less likely to be in a position to be ulted by a Momo. Oh, that's a call. <laughs> Ooh, he stole that, damn. I don't want to use cleanse just to kill him. Or just to go steal him. Nice one. And that's a uh, treasure hunter stack. Alright, I guess none of them get the herald. Could ult on him, but... I think if he has ult, he would also just be able to escape even without flashing. And I don't want to waste my ult cooldown like that. Head towards the mid lane. And towards the Drake. All goes to me, perfect. And I really do want all this farm, all of it, until I go to Vori. Literally, I'm one wave away. Definitely don't want to sell Doran's Blade this early on. Damn it. 
Should have just tilted in there and got the assist. That would have also given me no worry. Uh, I have it anyway. Actually, let's go in here. I don't have cooldowns, but I can at least do a ton of damage to Zyher for us, her ultimate. Yeah, basically it's ult for ult, and I win the HP trade. That's a good use of ult. Ow. So now if Menti wants to dive Zyher, that's actually a possibility. So good. Whereas I don't need my ultimate here, because we have the advantage anyway, right? I mean, we can take the inhib, but whatever. <laughs> People are so allergic to early inhibs. Because it sounds so intellectual to be like, oh, actually, it's kind of bad to take the inhib early, guys. But I mean, it's 20 minutes. Baron is up. I'm not going to lose the game because he took an early inhib. Too beautiful to be decimated by the void. I think I need one level up for my evolve, right? With the dagger. Yeah, yeah. If there were any justice in the world, I would already have my evolve at 100% out of 100%. Oh, look, we're doing burn. Oh, God. I don't currently have ult, but I have flash. I'm gonna need to flash. Oh, I got peeled at the very end. Okay. Can we do this, Baron? I guess not. I'll go top then. Uh, or maybe I should join here. But I don't want to ult just to kill still that guy. Okay, I guess we are doing Baron in the end. Ooh, Annie. Holy fuck, she does a ton of damage. Here we go. Ah, oh, I failed it. Ow. There we go. Easy recall cancel though. Yeah, I think it's definitely gonna be another Runan's third game. Because the team is relatively tanky. Not so much that we need Lord Dominic's, but definitely enough that we need some form of DPS and not just pure survivability through Bloodthirster. Well, not just survivability, but also dueling power. Uh, I might be in trouble here, we'll see. He's dead, right? Yep. <laughs> what? Wait, you can knock her through the wall? I'm not gonna use my Q here, I wanna save all my mana for E. E is very crucial to have here. Ooh, holy shit, that was nearly kill. What if I W him? Ah, if I'd landed that, I think that was the kill. Oh well. And he's healed it all up. What the fuck? Ah, one more auto. Would not have killed him, apparently, as it turns out. But I knew that. Ow. Somebody's coming. Probably Echo? Yep. Who else would come and assassinate me? I might be fine. Is he behind? Yeah. Like, honestly, if I just kite circles around him with E, as long as he doesn't one shot me, I'll probably win that. The warrior build just makes it impossible for him to kill me unless he can one shot me. So now the question is, do we want to do Lord Dominic's, or do we want to do Bloodthirster? It's again, I think because we're so ahead, we can get away with either one. But I think Lord Dominic's would usually be the optimal choice here. Okay, we need to get a fucking inhib. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to push mid while my team are pushing bot.
Nice. No, come on. There we go. I got him. Holy fuck. Wait. Penta? 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 Come on. Let's fucking go, Blitz MVP. Nice one. Let's fucking go. GG. Stalling him at the end with the, <laughs> with the death and after the penta. <laughs> GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another Kaisa game. This time we're playing Kaisa Zyra into, you guessed it, Zaya and Rakan. It's actually Zaya every game, holy shit. This is like the third in a row and fourth today. <laughs> Let's go for a quick auto attack poke there because we know she's going for the lost hit. Oh god, I need to pop ghost here. Thankfully, with ghost, I don't even need to flash. Oh my god, he actually just wants to go for the harass. Instead of just accepting the gank won't work. Missed XP apparently. I won't quit. So did, well, they didn't miss XP, but they got, at least got text on XP. I got flash if I need to escape another Nunu gank. Nice one. No. Nope. Okay, I got it. Thank God. No! Why would you do that? Oh my God! Two casters. That's thirty-two gold I missed out on, man. Easy to dodge that. This should be a uh, one for one. That's fine. Nice one. Oh, no, no, no. He just healed. Okay, thank God. Thank God. Okay. Ah, oh, this soccer trying to crash this. We're gonna have to leave the wave here, I think. I can't shove this cannon wave. Hopefully the freeze breaks. Alright, we got the Berserkers. Let's roll back into lane now. <coughs> when I was a child, I was frightened of the lurk in the dark. It's totally gonna miss out with the cannon. It is what it is. Yeah, at least the wish dead didn't turn out to be too much of a disaster. It wasn't ideal, but because it's so close to their turret, it just ends up pushing back towards us. No chance for them to freeze or deny too much farm. If I'm unlucky, this cannon will die, but it shouldn't. There's like no reason for it to die. It's just completely RNG whether the minions will decide to focus it or not. Nice one. Fuck. Get it. Ah. Nice, he didn't even get the heal to Zaya. That was an okay trade, but... Problem is that most of our damage was onto Rakan, while most of theirs was onto me. Nice. Rule 
Oh, she is so fucked here. Where is she? Uh, okay, I guess it's the end of this fuck. Ah, and Zai got the kill, that sucks. Nothing Diana could do about that though. That was mainly on Zyra for getting caught in such a bad spot. Forcing Diana to have to help her and then Diana does instead. Bro, she's cost me like 72 golden casters by now. Oh my god. Ooh, shit. Oh, that sucks. Oh boy. <clears throat> Holy fuck, she has five kills. How is, how is she solo killed? Or, well, at least killed. Really, three times. This fast. I got this, I got this. Nice. I almost didn't do it in time. Okay, we should shove this wave as hard as we can, and then just use that opportunity to go play some deep vision. We need some vision, uh, we need to ward as deeply as possible against Nunu, because his ganks are really, like, really fast. You see him in vision and he's already on you. So we want to ward, like, at least up here. This ping, this ward is good, this is good as we can do there, I guess. Okay. Oh, she's in trouble. Okay, we should try and... Uh, yeah, too late to flank her now, unfortunately. We don't want to shove. What's the point of shoving? We can't dive her. Okay, I'm gonna get level 6 here. We don't want to greet for that fifth shot on Nuno. We actually had a decent trade there. Ooh, I think she didn't get that cannon. Nice. Yeah, we want to keep the wave here. Hopefully the plants aren't too much. Why are they all foxing me as well? <laughs> Plants are right there. too aggressive here because well yeah we don't know where we're coming can't fucking see her uh damn it that was so close fuck me my bad i didn't expect him to dash on her through the fucking wall i didn't know he could do that jesus he can't do that with other adcs uh oh should be able to cancel our base Nice, if she forces Zarya to stay here. Oh, not like that though. I don't know how she died there, that shouldn't have happened. Maybe a Rakan flash, but I mean Zara has flash as well, so, or had flash. So I don't know how that happened. I need to try and cancel her base if possible. Man, she's actually backing off so safely. Close. I'm sure she is somewhere I can interrupt, but I just don't have the vision to do it. Because I can't afford to be giving up all my minions just trying to cancel a base. Probably should have blindly thrown my W though, actually. Just to have a chance of stealing, maybe- or cancelling. Maybe she was here. Okay, so we back off now, and she's gonna have no vision here at the moment, I believe. But what we should do is just camp here. Uh, this is bad. Uh, 
Eventually she's gonna have to, have to overextend. The problem is I miss out on this entire way for zero reason just because I already used abilities on it. So Zion might just assume that I actually based just to uh, get my noon cover. Okay, she's gonna overextend soon. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna path through behind. Hopefully she doesn't have ult. Uh, Zyra. Really? Okay, we got this. Okay, huge, huge. Hella worth it. Didn't know she had Gale Force though. But yeah, that was a whole lot more worth than going for that wave under turret, you see? Way more gold. She's really ahead of me though. Still not even really close to Mythic. Okay, we got that. <clears throat> Think the wrong thing there. Whoops. Yeah, I'll just do double pickaxe here instead of uh, quick look. Hopefully, I'll get level nine soon, which will give me kill evolve. Now I'm diveable. <laughs> Hopefully this is enough vision. Actually, I should have cleared that blast combo now it's too late. What? What the fuck? Oh god, this is where he's diving from. Gonna pop the ghost. Okay. Oh, hello, Rakan. I shouldn't have flashed, actually. I'm, sh I'm sure it would have been fine. Okay. Nice. I just missed out on a fuck ton of farm. At least I don't die. I definitely didn't need to flash. So the thing is, I had so much movement speed from Ghost that even with a Rakan W rocking up to me, I still would not have died. Or it wouldn't have been knocked up. And it's so good that the double pickaxe path just doesn't give you kill evolve until level 9. I even delay it by doing berserkers and I still don't get there in time. Off the games. Okay, we see Zyamid. There we go, now we got the kill valve. Um, I could get blue, that way I don't have to base. Oops. What the hell? I'm clicking it. What? This worked every time in practice tool. There we go. I'll leave the blue up or then I might think I'm trolling. I'll just preserve mana and base when I got Kraken Slayer. Oh, shit. Maybe something we can do here? Oh boy. Nice one. Okay, it doesn't really matter which turret we give up. It's gonna have to be top or mid. So uh, at least here I had chances of getting kills in like mid lane. Oh, we di I didn't see Zyra there. Damn. Oh. No. Nothing to do. Can Diana kill Zyra? Can I cancel his base there? Yeah, nice. <coughs> Dana can kill Zaya without ult. Now Zaya might have ult to dodge the Dana ult, so... Oh, no, okay, that worked out pretty well. Nice one, Dana. 
Zaya's really wasted her lead. She still has a lead, I think, but it's really kind of wasted in recent times. So Rakan is probably sticking- he, like, he could either be bluffing and just trying to burn at me from going for another wave, or he could have, like, Nunu in the area and he's waiting to follow up the Nunu gank. It's really impossible to say. But I definitely don't want to try all ending Rakan there. Playing aggressively on him. We just take the farm and hope we don't get ganked. Get out of there. Oh my lord. Just took a lot of damage there. Nice one. Oh, Drake is already up. Ow. Nice one. Well, if Nuno's here, he's not on the Drake. Don't get greedy for that pink, it's not important to clear. Was I top? Is she trolling or what? That's why they're not contesting Drake, because they don't even have their ADC. <clears throat> Let's go for it. Oh, no, 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 this is far too many people here. Fuck me. <laughs> My bad. So impulsive. Or I just misunderstood. Uh, let me see what will happen there. If I... Oh, so I, I think I misunderstood Yone to be on our team as well. But even aside from that, like... We saw Kali and somebody else here. There was just too many people for me to actually go in there. My bad. Didn't really properly evaluate the situation before I jumped in. Just saw Rakan was very squishy and low. Trying to help her, but after I've taken this farm, eh, too late. Whatever it's called, it's survival. Okay, that's a uh, tank Nuno. Navorikais is really good against tank Nuno. It's really hard for him to do anything to her. She could have aggroed Baron. Oh, they're actually gonna start the Baron. What? <sighs> Hello, Yone. Okay. The crit, god damn it, the crit and the fucking crack and fucking at the same time. Wait, they're still doing it, what? They have to be trolling. Oh, our jungler died. When? I didn't get an assist. Oh, where the fuck did Akali come from? What? My bad. Didn't notice her, I was focused on Nuno. I'll check in a sec. Oh, was I just standing on the Akali shroud? Maybe that's what happened. Let's see. This thing will pop up. Oh, 
Oh no, she was just there. Yeah, so with Wukong peeling me instead of going for Yone, I would have been fairly fine here. But the problem is, there's nobody protecting me from Akali, who I also didn't notice anyway, but... Yeah, my bad. I do not wish to grow old. It was a hard fight to survive, though. Because I think it was the right call to go and work on there. It, there was, that was perfectly fine. I just couldn't predict that then the team would abandon me. And also, aside from that, I also just didn't do a good job of playing around the Akali. Yeah... I don't know what she's doing there, I can't join her. Oh fuck. Nice one. Close. I'm not forgetting tech so much throughout the game. By Zyra, I would have dagger run now. Well, actually, I'll still have it anyway. Let's get this Drake. Holy crap, we're getting a lot of Drakes. Or I think we are. If we got this one. Oh no. Diana! What? Holy fuck, she delayed that so hard. When I'm... I can nearly go in here. I thought I was Wukong. Whatever, I can go in on Zai here. There we go. Sure, I still kill somebody here, right? Yep, we got Rakan. We zone Nunu off of... He really wants to flash steal that. God damn it, he's gonna get it as well. Fuck that blows. Okay. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Damn it, I tried my best. There wasn't much more I could do there. Clearly the vision. I'm either a level up or a recall away from getting... Evolve. I can make it Damn it, I didn't connect it. No stealth reveal. Fuck. Whatever. Probably would've lived anyway. Yone might be flanking us. Oh god. Did I get her? Nope. God, that blows. Okay, at least we got a threat. Fuck, man. I don't see the reason for fighting here. Holy fuck, she actually killed somebody. Let's go. Dummy damage. Hello. I will make a difference here. Okay, so why do they check the red buff if they don't want to steal it? What? Wait, this guy wants to take it. We just self muted? Zyra, fair enough. Oh, we can go for Yone here. Uh, I have to path through here though. I don't want to run into Nuno. Nice one. <laughs> nice. Okay. Maybe we can go for their blue buff. Fuck me, what is this? Ah, oh, I did not expect that CC chain. I don't feel like Nona should have gotten away with just con 
testing that blue like that. I felt like he was in a really, like, do, just being really greedy there. Maybe I chose a bad spot to contest, like, to try and punish him, though. But how did I get knocked up here, though? Oh, just fucking snowball. Yeah, that was pretty unfortunate timing. Snowball right into the Rakan. Because my, my thing was at least I was going to ult up here the moment they tried to punish me, but I, I honestly, no, no way to react to that. <coughs> I'm going for it. Just go for it, go for it, keep going. Oh, that's Yone. God damn it, I need so far away. Fuck me, I'm stuck here. Okay. Got him. Holy fuck, I'm so lucky I lived. I don't know why Nuno didn't try and finish me off. Why was he trying to survive there? He should have been trading one for one. Big mistake from him. See, even though I nearly died, though, like, it, even if I died, it still didn't matter, right? It was still a really good fight to force. That's why I forced it. Even though it looked stupid, even though, like, it looked like I was running it down. Sure, there was a high percent... Ooh, high chance I died there. And I was okay with that. God damn it. No, I wasn't okay with dying here, though. <laughs> come on. Come on. How how the fuck did she just won before there? I even stealth revealed her. No, that's not an overstay. No way she should have gotten away with that. Yeah, I was okay with running it down there just for the sake of our team winning a fight there. Because <clears throat> nobody else was willing to force it, even though I knew it was really good. And I knew we would win it even if I did die. Okay, I could have done with being less distracted here so I could just insta-stealth her. I was busy explaining. Or insta-w her, I'd reveal her stealth. I don't know why Zyra's all the way off to the side there though, because that wasn't even a 1v4, that was 1v3. Can, I can't get this off my screen. <laughs> there we go. They're the ones I guess I'll point first. <clears throat> Alright, I need Lord Dominic's for this game to be play- or, sorry, I mean Bloodthirster for this game to be playable. They have a lot of damage. Oh, hello. I'm so fucked here, actually. Right into the Rakan charm. There we go. Thank God for my ultimate. Still being up there. She has no stealth now. Get her. Oh my god, do we end now? Fucking hell. Okay, I smurfed that fight. Thank god I could ult away. <laughs> Dude, it, I felt so unlucky though, because I ulted in right on top right on top of the Rakan's charm, so I got an instant CC. But the, everybody that could kill me was already on me, like over here. So when I ulted here, it was perfectly fine. Even though I got CC chained for a while. That was so good. They wasted so much on me there, I think. Oh, thank God. <clears throat> GG. Yo, what up, gamers? We are back for another Kaisa game. God, if he'd actually hooks in her. Oh. Would've been a kill. I said we still go for it. We win this. See if Blitz gets hook up in time, you could flash hook, or even just hook through this wall. Yeah. Okay. Yo, what up gamers? We are gonna be playing... Kaisa Blitzcrank into Samira Soraka, which I think should be a pretty decent lane for us. Samira's, um... Soraka's okay with Samira, it's not an engaged support like Samira wants, but... Um... As far as non-engaged supports go, I guess Soraka's pretty decent for Samira, by keeping her alive longer. Whereas Samira excels really well in longer fights. Oh yeah, this could be really good. But uh, we got Blitzcrank, which is a pretty good counter to Soraka, so... Nice one. So we should have an easy time in this lane, I hope. I mean, it's not a uh, complete, you know, too one-sided, because at the end of the day, Samir is still a really strong laner. Better than Kai'Sa, probably, but we should be favored. 
Uh, I don't have heal. <gasps> you did not, Blitz. You did not. Okay. Anyway, guys, um, we made it back into the diamond promos with the previous game, so we need to win two games in a row. Needs to be two. Why? Because I have to dodge my previous game because somebody else picked Kaisa. So we lose a single game, we're out of promos again. Reminder: the promos are now best of three instead of best of five. God, I'm so fucked here. I'm never gonna regain HP. The best I can hope for is to regain some HP, or rather, um, soak up some XP under turret. Not even get too many losses, just mainly looking for XP. And then recall. Or if we get this gank where I don't even have to do anything, that would be sick. I gotta stay away from Samira, by the way. <sighs> See, this sucks because Samira can just flash EQ me. I can't actually do anything here because she would one-shot me. I need a level up at the very least. Oh god. <laughs> it's even a flash, god damn it. Yep, that's a rough start for sure. There we go, we've explained the situation to Elise, sorted that all out. I'm sure she now understands. <gasps> Here we go, this is why she's... She's get... She gets hard countered by Bless Crank. There we go. Huge. Soraka fucking hates playing into that. <clears throat> How the fuck you lost bot with no F? Actually, funnily enough, it basically well, it did happen just because of... Uh, uh, delaying the blue. I was like, I mean, I say that I shouldn't have lost that much HP, but I really was trying to bait. Just took Bliss Sage just to fucking get into the lane. Oh, nice try. We couldn't go for this, right? Unless the enemy jungler is here. I don't think they are. Okay, cool. Do I want a base here? Yeah. Uh, sort of. I want a base, but I... Don't want to leave the wave in this state. It might just... It probably fixes itself, honestly. These melees will go under turret. Then I hope it's all sorted. I really do need to... Spend some gold here. Actually, this might not be bad. So I think what Samira wants to try and go for here is try and... Create a freeze here that she can just base on. But this is far too close to the turret for this to happen. Um, what I need... So what's awkward for me here is that I want Bliss to come bot. Yeah, so she this, she's trying to do exactly what I said. Actually, he, he can stay uh, wherever he wants. Doesn't matter, Samira's already based. I don't think this will work because, um, yeah, the freeze is already broken. As soon as this caster dies, their mini wave solidly on numbers ours. Samira was kind of fucked up because she didn't have time to shove that wave, but she also didn't have a good freeze either. She had to base at a bad position. She had no other choice. She decided to go for the safe route instead of trying to shove and then potentially dying to me in Blitzcrank while I have a, uh, an item advantage. I need the ward here just in case. But she just missed out on an entire wave. Obviously, she still has a lead. <clears throat> so, I mean, this is not like a win lane winning thing, but... It's nice to at least catch up a little bit. Do some damage on the Soraka there. Nice luck, she's dead. And she knows it. This one. God damn. One more shot. Perfect. 
Not as uh, big uh, an execute as if she was lower HP, obviously, but it's nice. So basically, I mean, hooking anybody in this lane is also really good, by the way. Even if we hook Samira, that's also really good because it completely isolates her away from the minion wave, which is all I need to win a trade. Problem is, it can be hard to hook her, even if he actually aims it right, she can just W it. So, I mean, we're just chilling. We're just waiting for Blitz to land anything, which is not necessarily his fault if he doesn't manage to. This is just how the matchup can be. Especially because we don't have a lead, we're behind. So it makes it all the more risky to try and walk up to land a hook, because we might not even win the trade even if it lands, and if he misses, then he's fucked, because he's been positioned so aggressively. Oh, fuck me. Okay, really good trade there. Well, decent. Oh, this rocket. Oh, did, wait, this rocket just stole. No. She's just using regular hills. I probably need the base here. Need to let Samira not get in range of E flash as well, because I don't know whether she has flash or not. <gasps> Shame the way. Oh, what the? F Wait, if that had landed, she was dead. What the fuck? Why would she go for that? That is so weird. She literally risked completely throwing the game there, or the lane at least. No. Okay, at least I got her. Damn it. If Samira hadn't flashed on me, I would have been able to skip with E. Oh well. That's tragic. That, I'm so sad he didn't manage to land the hook. Because that, that was far too aggressive from Sorka. That was a complete coin flip whether she'd managed to dodge it or not. It was really close. Like she got no she not only got in hook range, but she was really close. Look at this. Like The max hook range is like here, right? Here he could have hooked her. Then he stops here and she keeps walking forwards. Like what? He could have ended even better as well, by the way, because she couldn't juke up, right? She could only juke down. And what did she, what did she do? She juked down. If Blitzcrank had aimed it just slightly further down, he would have hit it 100%. There was no angle she could dodge at there. She really just completely made a stupid decision, but just very tragically didn't get punished. Would have been so nice to just get a free kill there without having to give up a double kill for it. <coughs> hey, let me have the 25 gold, buddy. Anyway, at least Samira's missing on a lot of farm. Seriously, is she AFK or what's going on here? Hat, she should be here by now. She just gave up a ton of farm for zero. There she is. Fucking Diego, hang on. Get me out. I'll get the cannon, then contest this. There we go. Do we want to contest? Eh, I guess we're not. I'll just throw a W, try and steal it with that. With a shot. Okay, we're not going to go for it. Just place a trinket there. I think I missed like one caster, but that's all. It's worth moving there just in case my team decides they do want to contest since I can't read their minds and they're not communicating much. I mean, it's so lucky you can't communicate much. Oh man, Samira already has shield bow. That's fucking crazy. I mean, this is awkward because we definitely get harder skilled here. Um, Samira doesn't necessarily have skill Kaisa too hard. Maybe slightly, maybe not. I'm not really sure. But I know for a fact that Soraka definitely massively has skills Blitzcrank. And when you couple like Soraka, Samira with Blitzcrank Kaisa, as a whole, they definitely scale a whole lot better than we do. Which is why we needed an early lead, which is why it's just fucking disastrous that we got stomped in lane phase. Now, no matter what else happens, we've still, you know, we're, we've lost the lane. There's no chance we get uh, stronger in time to be more useful than them in the mid game. So 
So we're just gonna hope we get carried, is what I'm saying. I may just want to base here. We pretty much give up the turret if I base, but... I'll stay, okay, I'll stay, a, I'll stay a little bit longer. Ooh, okay. I'm not gonna use mana, I wanna save mana for ult. Yep. I wanna save that defensive cooldown. Not bad, not bad. Because we're almost certainly not going to kill her there anyway through the Soraka heals and the shield bow. Okay, she's going to stick around. Basically, if they want to dive me, I just want to make sure that I've got enough mana for ultimate. I only had literally 100 mana there, so I, if I use any ability and then suddenly I need to use ult to save myself, I wouldn't be able to. That's why I don't use cooldowns there. Come on, get her fast. I need the triumph. I need the triumph. Thank you. That's so huge. Are we winning lane now? Nope. But suddenly we're going to be dramatically more useful in the mid game and there's going to be slightly less of a bot gap. And that's why we saved the mana for ultimate. Because I knew so long as I had mana for ultimate there, I could let her dive me and I would probably be okay. Probably. Can't guarantee it, but it was a bet I was willing to take. Awesome. Okay, I can still refillable for Mythic. I think that's worth it. I could have also done, by the way, um, double pickaxe for Kyovolf. Uh, that would have been... I could have done it even before level 9, gotten the Kyovolf, because of the fact that I've got all as well. Cole means that I don't need the level up instead I've already got plus 7 AD from Cole compared to when I usually have double pickaxe. What the fuck? Thanks to you, thank you for the 10 gold. Yeah, either way, I mean, I, just, I would just rather have Kraken Slayer here because uh, it's kind of hard to burst down some mirror because of her W anyway. So I'd rather have the sustained damage to try and kill her through Soraka heals. What the fuck? Ugh, I'm dead here. <laughs> what the hell was that? My bad. Oh, nice one. Okay. That was unexpected. Mm. Okay. Not bad. Could have been worse. I don't think I could have done anything better, but I'll overview once I've got my long sword. I don't want to spend too long in base on the, on the platform once I revive. There we go. I'll walk into lane. Now we can try and review it if it's still up on the replay. Yes, I mean, this was just a bit for me. I just wanted to go get that pink. The Viego being there, though, completely unexpected. If I'd known that, I wouldn't have done it, but it happens. The very poor from Viego to use ultimate there. He was trying to kill secure instead of actually trying to get the most for the kill. Yeah, I don't think I could have done more there because I can't really flash through the wall there, can I? I think I did everything that I could, and I ended up getting Samira and Viego killed, which is the best I could hope for from such a bad situation. I was intending for that to be a 3v2, not a 3v3. Yeah, we're actually doing really not bad now, though. Because, I mean, we're still losing lane, but, I mean, I'm not that far behind Samira. We can't fight. Oh, and I forgot to level here. Hang on. There we go. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're still obviously behind, but I've got three kills to Samira's five now, instead of, like, zero to Samira's five. And I'm also, like, only, like, mon one minion wave behind or so, like, 10 CS behind or something. Why is that wandering off? Start Vigo in our jungle taking red buff. Nope. And I don't know why it wandered off. Place a ward there because I don't want to face check. Okay, Samira's rotating over. 
Team needs to be careful. She also might actually be just moving to flank me. I'm on the way. Oh no, I wouldn't have bothered if I knew Soraka was gonna show up here. Okay. Damn. Okay. I mean, at least I don't die. And I didn't have to burn cooldowns or burn summoners. I'm gonna take a small risk here and just push another wave. I see their ADC and their mid laner. Both mid, which means there's only like realistically two people who could want to come farm here. Viego and Gwen. Gwen hopefully still top lane or walk and popping top lane. Since she's in base. She based recently at least. And then Viego might also just be in his jungle. No, Gwen actually came bot. That was a concern, but hopefully I should be fine anyway. I don't know whether she has ult or not. That's why I don't want to walk up too close. Yeah, my W was completely wasted there. <laughs> oh, pop ghost. I think we can get her. If it could go to me, that would be perfect. Thank you. Good, good, good. I'm not much of a win condition, but I'm probably the best we have. Like, if they were, if I can somehow get ahead of Samira, I will have more of an impact on teamfights. Okay, thankfully they're not collapsing on us. Nice one. Is there any way I'm just gonna randomly have enough for... Navori on my base? Probably not. The blue is down. I'm really close. I'm really close. I feel like I should stick around for that. I need... Basically 150 gold, like one minion wave. Or red buff. She's not gonna let me have it though. Or is she? Wait, is she? I think she is. Okay, cool. Thank you. I got this, right? How much do I need? 170? Yep, okay. Selling cold will give me this. Sorry, bullets. Oh, I only just got that myself. Thank God. Uh, we should rush over mid. There might be a fight here soon. I would recommend them to run for now. There's no more threat to get, so there's no point in pushing. All I would get is one mini wave. Ooh. Oh, damn. Oh, this could be decent. Not really. Wait, fucking hell. Let me ult! Jesus. Okay, thank God. Medical Viego? Awesome. Huge. Jesus, I didn't expect fucking Blitzcrank. Got him. Okay, I'm actually suddenly huge. I feel like I'm at... Mm, I don't know if I'm stronger than Samira, but... Actually, we're, I guess we must be about even, right? Because even though she's got two kills up on me, she's got, uh, like, I've got a massive shutdown from her. And potentially off of others as well. She's been playing from ahead the entire time, so she has no shutdowns. I assume, anyway. Good, good. Awesome. Okay, I need to run fucking hell. Okay, I got, got a turret top lane. <laughs> nope, I didn't mean to. Okay. Nice try, nice try. <laughs> Worth a shot. Fuck, now I'm gonna miss the cannon because I don't have W. 
What if I get Annie here? Does she have ult? I gotta assume she's got ult, actually. I never saw her use it. That I remember. It's hard playing League of Legends with dementia. I imagine. Maybe we just run top here? Yeah, because we see Samira. There's going to be a fight here, right? We know for sure. Question is, do we get here in time or not? I don't know, but it's worth trying. Yeah, probably not then. Maybe we just camp this brush? Nope, oh, they see us. Oof. Ow, wait, I'm fucking slowed here. Is this fucking... Oh, god damn it. Ugh, that sucks. I was getting slowed by fucking Rylai's. Because of because it's pulled into us. <laughs> oh no, that was a fucking disaster. I think I need to go bloodthirster this game. Uh, one mistake I made there is that I definitely could have ulted away uh, from Diego. Didn't see him at the start, but yeah, I could have ulted him here, him here, which I think I did. But then I was trying to ult here. You see that? Just barely out of the range. Now, I don't think I would have lived here, but I could have at least bought myself some more time. Maybe done a little bit more damage. Maybe baited a little bit. I don't know. That's the obvious thing that I could have done better there. Besides that, it was a little bit unfortunate. Didn't expect to randomly get slowed there. I'll just base here. I'm basically just waiting for them to serve this in any way. I can't risk going for the farm here. When this is dark, this is dark. Anybody could be waiting here, trying to wait for somebody to overextend for farm. Maybe we get Gwen? Mm, no, we need to defend mid. Well, we don't need to defend mid if they all rotate towards bot to save Gwen. Oh, he's dead. Okay, I need to defend mid. God damn it, I keep ordering the wrong minion. Wow, those trades were really not great. Hello, I'm very fucked here, aren't I? Unless... Okay, nice. Go save me. I'll just run back to base. Get some HP back. Can get home guards. We need somebody to engage something here, or they're just gonna end. We can't ignore them. Ow. Did the best I could to continue the fight. Oh well. But unfortunate how this game went. If we had a... Like, you could see, like, just how easy it was to get kills whenever they screwed up in lane. If we hadn't started off as such a massive deficit, we could have... Definitely could have had a much bigger lead. We may, maybe could have won the game with, but oh well. Moving on to the next game, I'm gonna try and get back into promos. Alright, just one final update guys, unfortunately that's gonna have to be the end of the video because I just queued up for another game and Kaisa was banned and I now have a 12 hour lockout because of my dodge. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Later gamers.